Hi, welcome to New Start Now. I'm Don McIntosh. We're glad you're with us, and we're also glad that Dr. Michael Orlich is with us today. And Dr. Mike, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Glad um, to be here with you. We're going to talk today about sunlight, but what qualifies you to talk about sunlight? What, what do you do as a physician? Well, I'm uh, trained as a family practitioner, and I've worked for four years here at the New Start Lifestyle Center in lifestyle medicine and currently doing some additional training in preventive medicine. Wonderful. Uh, what about sunlight? You know, it's part of the New Start acronym. We have nutrition, exercise, water, um, sunlight. Um, uh, what about, uh, you know, sunlight? Is, uh, why do we need it? Where do we get it? When should we have it? All those kind of things. You know, I remember when I graduated from medical school in the graduation speech, our classmate said the only thing that she was really certain of after four years of medical school is always wear sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> and lately, the sun has been seen as something that's just harmful, mm -hmm. something that tends to cause cancer. But really, uh, we're starting to realize now that sunlight is very, very important for health. And it's important for a variety of aspects of it. So, you know, some people would say one of the most things is because you get vitamin D. Is anything to that? Vitamin D is, is the most critical aspect of sunlight. There are other benefits like sunlight through your eyes, can help to regulate your body clock, help regulate your sleep cycles, help mm. prevent seasonal de depression or seasonal affective disorder. But vitamin D is synthesized in your skin from cholesterol that your body makes uh, when sunlight strikes your skin. Mm -hmm. And it's this vitamin D that's critical to most of the benefits of sunlight. So tell me, tell me why it's critical. What does it do? Where does it do it? Well, vitamin D originally was thought to only have to do with bone health and they recognized that vitamin D was an essential vitamin because it prevented rickets mm -hmm. with the curved bones in, in young children. And later it was realized that vitamin D is critical in preventing osteoporosis. But they thought uh, just a little bit of vitamin D, a little bit of vitamin D could help prevent rickets. Mm -hmm. But now we realize that vitamin D is critical to almost every cell in your body. Is that right? It, uh, it helps regulate the cell cycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, cells grow and divide, but they're supposed to shut off at certain times and stop growing and dividing. When they fail to do this, uh, this is what leads to cancer. Cancer hmm. is out of control cell growth and division. So if you don't get vitamin D, you may have a higher risk for cancer. Correct. Um, deficiencies in vitamin D, and I should say that Vitamin D deficiency is one of the most widespread deficiencies in, in America. Mm -hmm. um, deficiencies in vitamin D can lead to a higher risk of a variety of types of, of cancer. Mm, such as? Such as uh, breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer. There's an increasing amount of evidence, an exploding area of research in vitamin D. It's one of the hottest areas in medicine. And it seems to not only lower your risk potentially of these major killer cancers, but also of autoimmune diseases. These would be diseases like multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, mm -hmm. Crohn's disease. Hmm. Um, they've known for a long time that the farther away you get from the equator, the farther north you get in the mm -hmm. northern hemisphere, the higher the rates of multiple sclerosis and these types of diseases. And it appears that vitamin D is a critical aspect to avoiding these diseases. Now, the question I have about this is, you know, you've convinced me. When should we get the sunlight? You know, when should we go out, or can we just get it in a pill form or a bottle? It's not, a, the, not the sunlight, but you know, the vitamin D. Right. <laughs> um, it, it's uh, an important thing to understand. Uh, typically, you need to get sun between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. during parts of the year where the sun is strong enough. And you don't need much. Don't, you don't have to tan, and you certainly don't want to burn, which can elevate your risk of melanoma. 20 minutes enough? Um, it can just be 5 or 10 minutes on your legs and arms. But in the wintertime in the north, you can't make enough vitamin D, and so you probably do need a supplement of 800 international units or 1,000 during the winter months. Well, we've been talking with Dr. Michael Orlitz. We've been talking about sunlight as it relates to vitamin D. And that's your tip for a new start right now. Go out today and start walking in the sun. If you're further north and it's during the winter, get some of those supplements that he just mentioned. And uh, if you want more information about this, go to our website, newstart.com. 
um, and you can get more information. And as a result of today's program, we hope that you have a new start now. Thanks for joining us and thank you for being with us, Dr. Orwich. Thank you. Thank you.